Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to show you a prefab home that's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I get a lot of requests for what to show on the channel. People are looking for homes at different price points with different designs, sizes, and of course, locations. Unless you're dealing with a company with factories across the country, shipping and logistics can limit options on what's available, so people often wanna know what's available close to wherever they're watching from. Not only did I find something in a very highly requested area, but but it's at a base price that I don't think is going to ruffle too many feathers. The company I'm talking about is Mesocore Modular Solar Homes with their line of prefab homes with a unique hybrid twist. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out their models, and get into their pricing. Mesocore Modular Solar Homes is a family-owned company with a mission to create quality housing for all. There are a lot of different options in the prefab space right now, but one of the most requested areas that I see in the comments is from people looking for options on the east coast of the United States, so I was very pleased to come across something located in Florida. Even better yet, they're well past the concept phase, about 10 years past it. They're building homes now. What we've got here, folks, is a bit of a hybrid, combining factory production with what they're calling sensible on-site construction construction that encourages local workers to productively take part in the development of their own communities. If you're sitting there thinking, what does that even mean? In a nutshell, they're shipping out a portion of the home, the core if you will, then building out the rest of the home on site. It's a pretty cool idea, really. How it works is a portion of the home, known as the steel core, is mass produced in the factory with all the home's electric, solar, and plumbing work, then it's delivered to the site as a 20-foot shipping container. The core of the home that becomes part of the structure doubles as a way to get materials to the job site. It's kind of like when Tim Hortons used to sell their chili in a bread bowl. The chili was delivered to the table in the bread bowl, then the bread bowl became part of the meal. The bread bowl served two purposes, just like the steel core from Mesocore. I do really miss those bread bowls, and yes, I know they're available other places. It's not the same, okay? After the Mesocore home is delivered, it's finished on site by local contractors and prefabricated components, all of which are provided in the container. For example, in the model that I'm gonna take a closer look at in a minute or two, the middle section, or core, is delivered at 20 by eight, or 160 square feet. The core includes two bathrooms, the kitchen, and the laundry room, so all the plumbing is handled in that small section of the home. From there, they build out the rest on site, including the living room, dining room, two or three bedrooms, and the entrance taking the home to 1,100 square feet. Aside from how it's delivered and their hybrid approach, they've listed a few other elements that set them apart from others in the space. One that people ask about often is if a home is designed for certain types of weather, and since they're built in Riviera Beach, Florida, these are hurricane ready. It says meeting or exceeding the international building code for high velocity hurricane zones, Mesocore is an ideal solution for severe weather locations. The standard impact windows and proven construction technologies add security and maintenance free durability. I was a bit thrown off by one of the sentences in that description, so I should clarify that they're not standard impact windows, they're impact windows that come standard. There is a big difference. Next, they're eco-friendly. Solar panels, rainwater harvesting, and a solar hot water system are again integrated into the design as standard equipment, reducing or eliminating utility costs. For people who are looking to go fully off-grid, partially off-grid, or just want a lower monthly utility cost, you're already part of the way there with the standard offering from Mesocore. Finally, with this system, there's the opportunity to bake in a bit of sweat equity by finishing off the home yourself. Always a nice option for those with the time and skills to do it. It says choose to build it yourself or ask your contractor for a turnkey price and check for solar rebates. I like that there a couple different options available and people are able to take on as much of the build as they're comfortable with. Enough chit chat, let's have a look at a few other homes. Right now, Mesocore has two options listed on their website, ranging in size from 432 square feet up to 1100 square feet, which means we're looking at both ADUs and single family homes. I'm gonna start with their bread and butter, known as the A1100. The A1100 comes in both two and three bedroom configurations, so definitely an option for a family needing multiple 
multiple bedrooms. The description says our most popular house. This 1100 square foot house has two full size bathrooms, can be set up as a three bedroom, two full baths, laundry room, and an open plan kitchen, dining, and living room that measures 24 by 19 feet. I'm gonna focus on the three bedroom version of the plan because I feel like three bedroom, two bathroom homes are something that are lacking on the channel. The way they have this plan set up, the main entrance is on the front into a landing almost directly in the middle of the home. Head left and you're in the living room, dining room, kitchen portion of the home. There's a rear door out of the dining room that would be perfect access to a patio or an outdoor space to smash a few patties on a warm summer's day. The plan shows an island in the kitchen. I can't confirm if it ships with the home in the core or if it's something that's purchased after the fact. On the other end of the home, they've got the bedrooms, bathroom, and laundry room. The main bathroom is located directly across from the middle bedroom and has a toilet sink and stall shower. The main bedroom has an ensuite with all the same fixtures, except they put in a tub shower instead of a shower stall. It's a spacious three bedroom plan, but like I said, this model comes in three different variations. They've also got a one bedroom plan with an office and a two bedroom plan that has an extra storage space. The best plan is going to depend on the buyer's needs, but for me, I'd probably go with the two bedroom without the designated storage storage area. So basically the one bedroom with the office, but I'd use the office as a bedroom if anyone ever came to visit. Let's check out their ADU. The smallest unit currently being listed by Mesocore is the 432 square foot model known as the Model E. Model E has dimensions of 18 by 24 feet in which they've got one bedroom and one and a half bathrooms. Now very often you get a bath and a half in a home this size, nice treat. The way this plan is set up, again, the core is directly down the middle of the home with the bedroom on one half and the living room kitchen on the other. The half bathroom is accessible in the hall between the two sides and the full bathroom is located in the bedroom. The website says this home can operate off grid generating solar power and harvesting rainwater. Model E is also offered as a side by side duplex. This is interesting, a 432 square foot side by side duplex. In the duplex configuration, each side becomes a fully self-contained studio with a bathroom and kitchen and would be an option for anyone looking to add a bit more density. A1100 is my favorite Favorite, but for Model E, the duplex gets my vote. It's rare to see a duplex this size. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna get into their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The A1100 starts at $147,000, which includes solar, batteries, wiring and disconnects, delivery in Florida, placement onto a prepared foundation, integrated rainwater collection system, permanent affixing to land, and partial on-site assembly. It's noted that at minimum, a Fixing to the land includes assembly of exterior walls, anchor bolts into concrete foundation, exterior windows and doors, roof structure and roofing, and hookup to sewer and utilities. They've got a really informative price breakdown that also mentions how no two job sites are the same, but the average all-in price to complete a Model A is in the range of $225,000 to $275,000 without the cost of land. It looks like Model E is a fairly new addition because they don't have the pricing listed on their website yet, but I think it's going to be getting a lot of interest. They're manufacturing in Riviera Beach, Florida, where I'm told factory visits are possible and they're working on a model home near Orlando, Florida for potential buyers who want to see something finished before making a decision. Mesocore Modular Solar Homes is a prefab home builder located in Florida with a very unique design and setup. They've got a hybrid approach that includes a prefabricated core combined with on-site assembly. I think this is a cool idea with multiple use cases, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.